Hey there, be honest, this planet is boring. That's why us humans have been trying to find new places since the day of seeing light, but our body makes it difficult for us since it's the main obstacle that stands between humans and achieving great things, yet we have managed to do things and get places without getting ourselves killed. Example, Valery Polyakov holds the world record of 438 days spent in space. Well, that makes us think, is it even safe for us to spend long periods in space? And how did we overcome its danger? Well, one of the first things that faces our body in space are the effects of zero-g, aka weightlessness, in the long term that causes muscle atrophy, which means the loss of skeletal muscle, as well as bone loss. Researchers have found that astronauts lose 1% of their bone mass each month spent in space. That's why they must exercise at least 2 hours a day in order to prevent the negative side effects of space. Being a space traveler can also slow your cardiovascular system in addition to decreasing the production of red blood cells in your body. And of course, we shouldn't forget about balanced disorders, aka space adaptation syndrome, which is experienced by almost half of space travelers, along with visual problems that occur due to increasing intracranial pressure. And it doesn't stop here. Space has negative effects on your psychology. Regarding NASA's research, they have found that most astronauts suffer from isolation, stress, and lack of sleep. But thanks to actigraphy, we got to study astronauts and try to improve their life. Besides that, there's the gigantic monster, radiation. Astronauts in space are exposed to different types of radiation, such as galactic cosmic rays, GCR, or solar particles that are emitted by the sun. And without the Earth's protection, they are messed up. But thanks to radiation measurement tools, NASA can track radiation waves and move the ISIS into a safe spot. They do the same process to avoid asteroids. One of the famous experimental observations include the one-year mission that focused on Mark and Scott Kelly residing in two different environments. The results were that a year in space caused Scott a chromosomal inversion and some DNA damage, as well as keeping him younger and making him two inches taller. But the good news is, he remained healthy. Even though space is not safe, our passion and curiosity will always lead us to do great things despite their danger. And who knows, maybe you could be the first one taking it to the next level? Thanks for watching.